Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. TSMC, the global leader in the foundry industry, was easily eliminated from the 7 nanometer chip market. Please listen to the cat and mouse story. It turns out that with the large scale mass production of the 3 nanometers process, flagship chips began to shift to the 3 nanometers process and the demand for 7 nanometers chips plummeted. Under this predicament, TSMC had to take the initiative to cut prices and promote sales, but the results were not satisfactory. The 28 nanometers process is an advanced process technology. What is the market prospect? TSMC's 7 nanometer chips were once in short supply, and orders from major foundry customers such as Qualcomm and NVIDIA were sweet. However, the good times did not last long. After the large-scale mass production of 3 nanometers, these major customers abandoned the 7 nanometers process and switched to more advanced process technology. Just like games versus newer devices, who wants to buy outdated stuff? This directly caused the backlog of TSMC's 7 nanometers process products and became the culprit for the company's sharp decline in revenue in the fourth quarter and profit decline in several quarters. Faced with such a severe situation, TSMC had no choice but to proactively announce next year's 7 nanometers process the price of products will be reduced by 5% to 10% to restore sales. However, industry insiders believe that this situation is difficult to reverse. Foreign media even joked that no one would buy the coal price of the 7 nanometers process. In the foundry field, TSMC is definitely the leader. For many years, TSMC has led industrial technological innovation and has now completed mass production of the 3 nanometers process and is making every effort to conquer the 2 nanometers process to maintain its competitive advantage. It's like Apple launching an A-series chip every year. TSMC's speed is always so fast. From the perspective of orders, major customers such as Qualcomm, Nvidia, AMD, etc. usually use TSMC as their OEM. TSMC in particular, has always occupied a pivotal position in the field of artificial intelligence chips. All in all, TSMC is undoubtedly the big brother of wafer foundries. The failure of the 7 nanometers process cannot shake its dominance in the field of wafer foundries. As the saying goes, a good horse goes with a good saddle. In today's various electronic products, overly complex and advanced chips may not be the way to go. On the contrary, mature and stable technology can better adapt to the needs of the market. Chips manufactured using the 28 nanometers process can meet most application scenarios in fields such as artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, and 5G. In addition, Chinese companies are not yet able to mass-produce 7 nanometers chips due to restrictions on imported equipment. 28 nanometers chips have broad market prospects. Both SMIC and Huahong are actively expanding production capacity and striving to become the leader in high-end chips. China is expected to account for 40% of the world's advanced chip production capacity by 2027. It can be said that 28 nanometers chips will become the darling of the market in a short period of time, and Chinese companies will also usher in a spring. TSMC's 7 nanometer chip has received a cold reception, and the news quickly aroused heated discussion on the internet. Optimistic netizens believe that TSMC has the ability to move towards the 2 nanometers process and will return to the top spot in the near future. Pessimistic netizens worry that TSMC 
is too dependent on large customers such as Apple for fear of being enslaved. Netizens who hold a neutral attitude regard advanced technology as an opportunity for China, which has triggered a debate about India's insulting China. Overall, TSMC can be said to have learned from the experience and should be inspired for future strategic adjustments. However, at the same time, Chinese companies should also treat it with a normal attitude and proceed steadily instead of blindly pursuing the so-called world-leading technology. TSMC's dilemma of declining demand for 7 nanometers chips and the development opportunities of China's 28 nanometers advanced process chips. First of all, 7 nanometers has always been TSMC's flagship product. Major customers, including Qualcomm and Nvidia, have adopted the 7 nanometers process. However, with the mass production of the 3 nanometers process, major manufacturers have abandoned the 7 nanometers process, resulting in increasing inventory of the 7 nanometers process. The more there are, the lower the sales volume. TSMC was forced to take the initiative to lower prices, but the market did not pay much attention to this. Secondly, although the sales volume of the 7 nanometers process has plummeted this time, TSMC's comprehensive strength and technical level are still unshakable in the industry, and it will still have the ability to continue to lead in the future. Finally, the relatively mature 28 nanometer process is more in line with the current market demand for various chip products. Chinese companies are also taking this opportunity to actively expand the process capabilities of mature processes. All in all, this is a battle between technology trends and the market. Chinese companies should also look further and proceed steadily. What are the implications of this incident? First of all, Chinese enterprises must clarify their own development direction and their main direction of attack. Secondly, they must deeply explore market demand and achieve positive interaction between supply and demand. It is unrealistic to strive to be the world's pioneer. The only way is to take one step at a time. It is necessary to conduct an in-depth analysis of the laws of industrial development and form a complete industrial chain in terms of design, equipment, materials, etc. Only integrated development can make China chip, a large but weak behemoth, strong.